Okay. So I made a purchase for camping this year. And since we got a trip coming up here in May, I figured now is a good time to pull this thing out and uh, open the box, see what this thing's all about. It is the Predator 3500 watt inverter generator. Um, I'm sure everybody's been hearing a lot about it. Uh, I've heard good things. It seems to be just in the ballpark of what we uh, we need it for. One big thing that I am really happy about with this generator is that right there, 57 decibel, super quiet. It says electric start for quick and easy starting. Um, I actually didn't know that. That's gonna be great. So an 11 hour runtime. So I'm hoping that's really gonna be the case with this generator i wish i had a little decibel rating so i could see if it's really 57 decibels but i'll open it up i'll hook it up to the camper turn a few things on and see uh just how good this thing works and um you know i'll be the judge of that and i'm hoping i got a good purchase here this thing is uh you know going to serve us some good use if uh, that's the case so let's open this thing up so it does say that it comes with the uh, 30 amp uh, adapter that I'll need to hook it up to the camper. Again, like I said, I looked at all four sides. It doesn't tell me whether or not I'm gonna need oil or not. Uh, that would have been good information to know. Um, but we'll see once we get it opened here. So I'll set the camera up on the tripod and I'll start cutting into this thing. All right. So I hope the uh, audio and video quality is pretty good. I'm using my new iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's the first video I've shot on it. So, uh, let me know how it is. Because um, one of the main things I bought it for was specifically the camera. And uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to have a lot of wind noise and whatnot. So, we'll see how that goes. Let's see if I can tip this box forward. You can see what I'm looking at. It doesn't look like we got much here. Looks like I got uh, a little funnel it comes with. Maybe some tools. Comes with a little funnel, that's pretty handy. And a uh, little bag here. There's a spark plug wrench. And um, I'm assuming some sort of little jump start cable, maybe. I guess the directions will tell us what that is. Just your typical, you know, spark plug wrench that you normally get. Comes with a little Phillips head screwdriver too. That's always handy. And, uh, I'll make sure, I always have tools on me, but I'll make sure that this stays right with the machine. And, uh, going on from there. Backing material. There's the RV adapter. Decent quality. Here's the owner's manual. There's the start guide. Like that. All right, I'm gonna set this box down on the ground. It's another thing, it's a little heavy. I think it weighs 82 pounds. So it does got some weight to it. Be careful, I'll set it on the ground. I'll lift it out of the box and set it back up here on the tailgate.
Just in case, I didn't want to destroy the box. You never know. That's what the front of the machine looks like. Comes with another little tag, tells you how to start it. That probably won't last there long. Hi, doggies. Pull cords on the right side here. 30 amp, two power cords there. It's got a little uh, digital readout here. So far, quality looks pretty good. It's not bad at all. Right on the top of the generator, there's some information there. Tells you check oil every eight hours, clean the filter regularly. Add a fuel stabilizer when adding fuel. Now, st fuel stabilizer to me, I think only if you're in damp conditions. I kind of run some stuff I leave in the gas can a little bit every now and again. And run 15 to 20 minutes every three months. Uh, that should be easy enough for us to do. We like to, we like to get out there. Well, there's your fuel cap. Got a nice little uh, chain to hold the thing. There is a little filter. That's nice. I, I like that. Has a little filter in there. Even has a little fuel level in there. Oh, that's really nice. And uh, it smells like fuel. Alrighty, so they must have some sort of initial uh, process that they use to get these things going. I'll get the package off the bottom. You could probably use some more heavier duty wheels. That's the only uh, thing I notice. Them tiny little casters, you're not gonna roll across much with that. But they're pretty sturdy. They do have a little lock here. So that'll be pretty handy. Exhaust exits out the back of the machine. Right there is a little vent. Oil fill inside. So I'll reach in here, I'll check. Hopefully there's a dipstick. I'll show you that up close. See, you got a little uh, oil fill. Let's see what we got. And that, there's certainly oil on my finger there. It's reading a good level. Huh, that surprises me. It comes with oil. That's one question answered. Get the little thing, little cap threaded back in there. Now that I got oil on my finger, it's a little bit easier said than done. Okay, looks like we got some overflow lines hanging out the bottom here. That's what you see. Anything else I could see, we got a little ground strap in there. You don't really see much due to the construction. That's how they keep it quiet is all these sides and the packing in there. So, all right, so what I'll do now, I'm gonna take some time, I'll browse through the directions. I'll highlight anything that I think is uh, useful knowledge and then we'll move on to putting some fuel in it and uh, jump on to the first start. All right, so I browsed through these directions. Um, I didn't see anything that really stuck out to me other than the startup guide. And it tells you right here, it says an add engine oil right on the top of it. So I went in there, I wiped that stick down a couple times and it must've just had some packing oil splashed around in there. Cause I had to add about, I'd say two thirds of a quart 
And this is their little start guide. And then on the back side has the setup. And that also says to add the oil. So I did that. And then I also noticed that it says connect the battery inside. So I took the screw off and there's a battery in there. And then I covered it back up and didn't hook the battery up. So we'll do that now. And uh, I think we got a little battery in here, a little rubber strap to hold it down. I'm assuming it's charged. Good tight squeeze. Get a little bit more of a view of what we see inside there. Got battery cables, you can actually see the pull start if the lighting is right. A couple connectors there. And I also noticed, maybe you guys can answer this question to me. It says that I should add a ground strap. Um, I don't know about that. So, kind of made myself a little makeshift ground strap. It doesn't come with one. So, I'll hook that up as well as the battery get it set down on the ground and uh, we'll go ahead and add some fuel and start it um, like I said check the oil multiple times now just to be safe all right I got this thing down on the ground I added some fuel to it Got my little ground strap hooked up. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead here and follow the instructions, what they say here. Just make sure the ESC throttle button is in the off position. Turn the start switch to the start position. And just uh, hold the button until it starts. So what do you guys think? You think it's gonna start right away? We'll see. Here goes nothing. Or maybe it's a little warm. It's been sitting out here for a while. I'll try it in the run position. There it goes, started right up. Green output light immediately came on. That's pretty quiet. So, I can go ahead and hook the power up to it. See, it, it idled down for a second. That must have been the battery, uh, battery charger charging the battery. So, I'll jump inside and uh, turn some uh, appliances on. Oh, you can see we have power in the camper. Come over here. That's the low cool setting. Did idle up for a second. And, uh, oh, hey, dog. Seems to be handling it pretty well. See how the air conditioner feels in here. Let's go to the high cool. And it's creating air conditioning. Feels pretty good. Now the, the exhaust is facing the camper, but I do get a little bit of a, I do smell a little bit of an odor coming from it. I'm assuming it's charging 122 volts. Um, so it sounds pretty good. I think uh, that is a win. I can't believe that it's not even idled up or anything. I guess I'll come in and turn on the microwave and see what happens. Make sure there's nothing in there. So with 
the AC and microwave running. Definitely starts using a little power. Definitely idled up there. I'll go turn it off. But it handled it. Turn that off. Goes right back down to a quiet idle. Sounds good. The little lock on the wheel is the only thing that's making a little noise there. So that's that guys. If you ask me, I think it's going to be a great addition to uh, our camping gear. Um, I think it was money very well spent. The quality seems very good considering that it comes from Harbor Freight. Uh, the longevity of it that will be the real key I'm gonna make sure to maintain it uh, very very well and um, I'm hoping to get a lot of good use out of it it's a great great looking uh, machine it's super quiet I don't think anybody will have a problem we try to stay away from anybody when we're camping but you know it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be too much to deal with so with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, gave some good information to some people. Um, maybe it will, uh, you know, lead to you guys purchasing one of these generators. And um, so if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments and we'll see you next time.